So traders, you have this game requires that you be 1000% honest with yourself. Delusion doesn't help you. Let me tell you how delusional some traders can be. Some of you have experienced this before, like a stuck quote infusion. Have you experienced that before where a quote is stuck? Right? Glitch in the system. Have you guys experienced that before? We get this one price that's stuck, right? There are traders that begin to take advantage of that. And they bang out two, three thousand dollars in a day taking advantage of a stuck quote. Now, they actually feel proud. They feel proud that they had a $3,000 day. Like how delusional can you be? That's the type of delusion that many traders experience. Why would you be proud of that? How could you? That's not going to happen in the real world. Why would a trader want to cheat their way to graduate? I don't get that. And completely humiliate themselves when they're when they're live. Like, why would you want to do that? Why would you want to do it before you know in your heart you're ready? That's how delusional traders can be. You don't want to be that. You don't want to be that trader. You want to be that. Now, guys, I will. I will tell you this in closing. There are three ways to do this. There are three ways to do this, traders. Listen to me carefully. You can start off with real money, a live account. and work through all of your demons and issues that way. But you know what's going to happen, right? To this live account, right? Right? That's one way. You can start off with the sim This account will do the same thing. But you will be gaining the experience you need without your money being hurt. Because this is the way you build experience. You have to do this first. You have to. Now, Bill will tell you that when he started with me, we did not have a simulator. That right after the class on Saturday and Sunday, Monday morning, every trader was live. There was no sim, guys. The sim is a very is relatively new. Do you understand this? For years, I ne for years upon years, there never was a simulator. Every trader that went through the program was live instantly. You understand? So there's a third way. Well, first of all, first of all, what do you think? So I've had these two experiences, right? I've had a period where over 3,000 traders went through my program and went live right away. I, right? I have a period of time where traders enter the program and don't go live right away. Now, who do you think winds up being more solid statistically or overall in the end? 
Live trader right away or sim trader first? What do you think? Right. The traders more solid, more prepared are the ones who got an opportunity to work through emotions, psychology, demons, problems, lack of discipline, but without the added pressure of I'm losing my whole life. Without that added pressure, which actually makes you a worse trader. If you're losing your children's money for college because you thought you could make more with it, how are you going to be a better trader? If you are spending the rent money or the mortgage money and losing it before the mortgage is due this upcoming month, how can that pressure make you a better trader? If you have didn't tell your wife that you put a portion of the family savings into a Robinhood account or whatever, and you are losing it, how can the pressure of one day having to tell her make you a better trader? Saber said he lost $40,000 in binary options. I'm glad you're here now, Saber, for real. So this is better. Now, there is a third way. There is a third way. The third way is to do both. You heavily rely on this still, but you dabble here too. And it is this combination that can actually make the whole experience more real without the destruction that happens here. Got it. Okay. So this third way is another option where you have the SIM and you rely heavily on it, but you also dabble in a live account to add that element of real, real, but without allowing yourself to be destroyed. You continue, you develop here, but you do a free trades here too. And so these are the three ways that you can develop as a trader. This being the hardest, and this has the, the highest death rate of all three. This one has the highest death rate. Okay. These are the better choices. You understand?